hope y'all like the last video that I did, the macaroni and cheese, the fried ribs, the mustard fried ribs, and the sweet potatoes, candy sweet potatoes when you can. Make sure y'all go and try those recipes. Well, um, so today, like I said, thank you for watching the other video. Hope y'all like it. Right, today we are going to make a creamy cheese key lime pound cake. Have you ever heard of such? All right, let's get started. So as you can see, I got my eight ounce, my eight ounces of cream cheese and three sticks of butter. This has been sitting at room temperature for about an hour. It's super, super soft. You do not want to try to make no pound cake with stuff that just came out of the refrigerator. Cause you'll see be sitting here and you'll get it mixed. But the thing is, once you get in the oven, it's going to take forever to cook. It's going to take forever. Make sure you preheat that oven to 325. And if you're using a convection oven and you're gonna have your fan on, put it at 300. Cause remember, the convection oven adds, with the fan on, adds about 25 degrees to it. So if you turn the convection oven on and you turn it on to 325, that means it's actually gonna be cooking at 358. Your pound cake is gonna be burning. And it's, it's gonna be brown on the outside and light skin on the inside with a little bit of batter. All right, that's not what you want. So what we're gonna do, we got our cream cheese and our butter. We're gonna mix those up real quick. take this here sugar three cups of sugar in there yes this is a paper plate shiny <laughs> and we're gonna mix this up until it gets nice and fluffy then we are going to, are we going to take, do the eggs next? We'll do the, we'll do the eggs. So I got six, six large eggs. Y'all see that? These also are at room temperature, okay? And we're going to do two at a time, mix, and then put two in. And normally I would, um, Crack these in a separate bowl to make sure they some good eggs and not no rotten eggs. But I didn't feel like it today, so this is what you get. <laughs> but you at home, make sure you break your eggs in a separate bowl one at a time. All right, just to make sure you're not getting no bad egg. Who ya? Two more eggs. And you should also break them in another bowl so that you avoid getting shells in your batter. And I know some of y'all at home sent six eggs. I don't ever use no six eggs. You're right, you don't use no six eggs. Cause I don't, because this, this is my recipe. This is not your recipe. And if you didn't want to know my recipe, you wouldn't be watching this channel. But here you are. So one time for one, one time for the one time. Try like I'm showing it to you, all right? Do something different. Y'all see, y'all see. Ooh, got the cord going all up in my. Y'all see that? It's nice and, it's actually fluffy. It's real thick and fluffy. So let me wipe this up, cause it's irritating. Me, clean as you go, y'all. Clean as you go, clean as you go, clean as you go. One of my subscribers <laughs> said that they were gonna hurt me if I said clean as you go one more time. Clean as you go. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get rid of these eggs. Set that up. Oh, shiny. 
I also use the real plate too. Okay, so we got the three sticks to butter, the eight ounces of cream cheese, the three cups of sugar, and we got our six eggs. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our, so this is cake flour. So I'm gonna say this, cake flour is, so there's all purpose, they have all purpose, there's different type of flours, or we just gonna talk about two. All purpose flour is just flour. Um, cake flour has been milled a little bit longer and it also has cornstarch in it. So cake flour has nothing to do with you sifting all-purpose flour a million times and saying that makes it cake flour. It's not true. Cake flour has cornstarch milled in it. That's the difference between cake flour and regular all-purpose flour. Cake flour is a, it's also finer and it gives the cake a, a little bit lighter crumb and a more airier texture. All right, and so there's three cups of cake flour, one tablespoon of baking powder, and one teaspoon of salt, because everything needs salt. All right, and we're gonna put a third of this mixture in here to start. Okay. And we will mix. yours that's all I got to say about that y'all gonna see a lot of this brand in all my videos your choice a lot of expensive a lot of expensive we in here and we're gonna mix that in Now, as is, this is just the basic cream cheese pound cake. To make this a vanilla pound cake, you want to drop you in what? 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 About a tablespoon of vanilla. This is my favorite brand, whatever kind of brand you want to use. Uh, so yeah, you put the vanilla in and that'll be the end for a regular, just a regular cream cheese pound cake. But for the key lime pound cake, we are gonna use some vanilla, so about a tablespoon. Cause everything is better with vanilla. Oh yeah. And this is a quarter cup of Levant fresh squeezed lime juice and the zest of four limes in here, all right? And you're just gonna put that in there, all right? And if you wanna make this a lemon cheese, if you wanna make this a lemon one, just, well, use the vanilla, cause I always use the vanilla regardless. Use the vanilla and just drop you a tablespoon of lemon extract or use a quarter cup of lemon juice plus the zest of those lemons. Um, what other? Um, if you wanna make this a chocolate cream cheese pound cake, instead of using three cups of flour, use two cups of flour and one cup of cocoa powder. And instead of the lemon juice or the lime juice, use a quarter cup of dark, dark, dark coffee. That'll give you the best chocolate pound cake ever. So we're gonna get this mixed in with a spatula. And I'm gonna keep repeating the ingredients over and over and over again. So, three sticks of softened butter, salted or unsalted, whatever your choice. The amount of salt content in butter is not, should not, dictate the amount of salt that you put in it because you're not the, there's not enough salt in butter for you to taste that salt in a baked product so three sticks of butter salted or unsalted um eight ounces of cream cheese three out three cups of sugar 
three cups of cake flour, one tablespoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of salt, six eggs at room temperature, one tablespoon of vanilla, a quarter cup of fresh squeezed lime juice, and, and the, the zest of those lemons. Also, another tip, if you want to make this a brown sugar pound cake, use one cup of regular white sugar and then two cups of dark brown sugar. Make sure you use dark brown sugar. All right, and we're going to stir this in. One thing that bugs me to death is that I see people do these pound cakes and they all these other desserts that you got to whip up, and they whip it so long and so long that... Yes, you want air in it, but you want air in it. You don't want, you want air pockets, air bubbles. We don't want no tunnels. We don't want the Hampton Tunnel. We don't want the Portsmouth Tunnel. We want nice little bitty bubbles. And that's going to give our cake a nice texture, all right? So I'm just gently folding that vanilla and that lime juice and that lime zest up in here, all right? You fold and then you cut down the middle. Fold and then you cut down the middle, all right? There she goes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And she tasting pretty tasty. Got my old school butter buck pan, all right? If you, mine is butter and flour, you know the old school way, if you want to use some type of spray, by all means, do so. I'm kicking it old school today. All right, we're just gonna pour this in here. And like I said, have your oven preheated to 325, 300, if you wanna use a convection oven with a fan on. And I already told you why. All right, and she, th she, th Thick. <laughs> she thick today. Betty Cracker could what? Have a seat is what she could do. <laughs> All right. And we're gonna make sure she we're gonna make sure this thickness is all up and in here good and she settled. We're gonna wiggle her. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. And we're gonna get her in the oven, like I said, 325 for about 60 minutes to for about an hour to an hour and 20 minutes. All right. Make sure you turn and make sure you keep checking on it. All right. Boom. Here go the cake. All right, she nice and moist and she, she, she real moist today, she real moist. Okay, so now we got to dress her up. We're gonna dress her up a little bit, all right? So what we got here, we got the key lime. Um, I'm calling this a, key, a liquid um, key lime pie mixture. And I'm gonna put the ingredients, well actually I can tell you. So this is just one can of sweetened condensed milk a quarter cup of fresh lime juice, including the lemons. That's it, you mix it up and you let it sit for about an hour in your refrigerator. And then you add four ounces, which is half a container of whipped cream to it, all right? And that's what this is. I'm also gonna put the ingredients for this in the description, okay? And then this is just some extra whipped cream. I got some limes here. We want that great wood. And I got some graham crackers and graham cracker crumbs. All right. So let's, let's dress her up. And then you can take your key lime, liquid key lime pie mixture. And you just... So we're going to take these graham cracker crumbs. And we're just going to... You know, dress up a little bit more. Just 
as much as you want because it's going to your, it's, this one is going to my mouth, not yours, and yours is going to your mouth, and not mine. And if you do not like that I am using my hands, then change the channel, okay? Change the channel, okay? That's enough for her. And we're going to take... dollars. Simple. And we're going to take our graham crackers and we're just going to, our graham cracker shards and we're just going to give it to her like that and like this and like that and like this enough. All right. Dress her up, dress her up. Okay. And we're going to take some of our lime pieces. And like, if you have extra of this mix, you can just keep it on the side just in case somebody want more of it, you know, to drizzle on top. All right, and there you have it, y'all. It's a good old key lime cream cheese pound cake. All right, now y'all go and make this recipe. If y'all make this recipe, make sure you take pictures, tag me in them. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. All right? Like, share, and subscribe. Thank you all for watching. Until next time, I'm out.